Hi, Rich Rubin with Tactical Fiber, and today I'm here to tell you about the different tactical fiber connectors that you see at the end of cable ends that are most frequently used out in the field, and some of the benefits and pitfalls of each connector. Let's start with the basic LC connector. Now, I've got to say right off the bat that this connector was never designed for production work. It's a very fragile, basically a one-time type of a connector that is designed in infrastructure, IT work, where it plugs into a cabinet, runs to a room, and you never touch it again. And so it's very, very, it's a bad choice for production work because everything is exposed. This plastic tip is exposed. The fiber tips are only protected with these tiny little plastic caps that are easily lost or not used in the field. And again, the number one enemy for uh, fiber is contamination, dirt, and damage to the connector. I mean, as long as those fiber tips are kept intact and clean, you're going to get good transmission. Uh, but with the LC connector, you really open the door to potential damage and contamination. Now, moving up from the LC is an ST connector. The ST connector looks sort of like a BNC. It plugs into the socket, you twist it, and it stays connected. A little more robust than the plastic LC, but if you notice, the ferrule, the tip that actually connects to transmit the light, is still exposed, and if you drop it on the ground like an LC connector, or you step on it, it's apt to break or get contaminated. And you've got little caps here that protect it against dirt and contamination. We find that a lot of crews, unfortunately, lose them. They drag them through the ground, they get dirty, they get broken, and we've got to re-terminate them. We do re-terminate cables on a daily basis. We get cables back for, for repairs. If you want to save yourself some trouble on a lot of re-terminations, I would suggest you move up to one of the two other connectors I'm going to talk about. The next level up from a connector is what we call our bullseye. The bullseye looks like an LC on the inside, but it's housed in an aluminum housing with an aluminum cap that screws on that's waterproof. So as long as the crews are careful when they're, when they're gaffing, when they're deploying your cable, to make sure that the cap is in place while they bring it out and put it back on after they disconnect it from the converter, then uh, you're okay because it can bounce on the ground, it's protected against dirt and contamination. So it's sort of like a middle ground. But the very best connector, the most trouble-free connector, is a stainless steel magnum connector, as we call it. And the magnum has got a stainless steel machine cap. It's precision machined. It's a nice connector. The beauty is that the ferrule is on the inside of the connector so that it, if you drop this, you're not going to damage any of the sensitive light transmission part, which is inside the connector. This is the female side in this case. The male side is on the mated connector right here, which is not deployed. It stays fixed, whether it's on the adapter that we sell or the patch panel. Um, you don't have to worry about contamination. So this is a patch panel that matches the magnum connector. We have these available in four or eight cable sizes. And likewise, we also have a patch panel for our bullseye connectors. And four, here's an example of our eight cable patch panel with bullseyes. Now we have the bullseye cable available in just two fibers, which is very common. The magnum is available in two fibers, four fiber connectors, and we have one for 16 fibers. And that's what this one looks like right here larger cable with all the extra fibers that we have to add and we also beef this one up quite a bit. This one is used not too frequently but if you do have a long event and you want to just break out signals and run one long cable this is the way to do it and that plugs into this mated socket which gives you 16 breakouts however you want to do it. So that's about it for uh, cables and what we have to offer but again I'm just going to leave you with just two thoughts. One is just make sure your cables are strong and two, make sure that those cables and the fiber tips are protected against contamination. If you have a strong cable and you've got a protected connector for video production, that's what you want to have for reliable operation. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again.